Yes, it is April 4th, and so far this year, we've seen the Oscars, we've seen the Golden Globes, we've seen the Grammys, and more. And for anyone that thinks, you know, award season is over, oh, 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 you are sadly mistaken. We are in the midst of battle, the season is just hitting up, and the most impactful honors have yet to be awarded. I'm talking, of course, about the SCV Man and Woman of the Year. It's the premier volunteer recognition event of the year, and the, and the dinner honoring all of this year's nominees is coming up. Friday, May 11th at the Hyatt Valencia. My nomination and invitation must have been lost in the mail somewhere in translation. But I am joined in studio by Laura Kirchhoff and Pam Rippling. Laura, you've been nominated for the SCV Woman of the Year. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Of course, of course. Now, you are the development manager at the American Diabetes Association, correct? That is correct. But everyone needs to be nominated by someone, and I, I think that's my problem. My issue is I don't have a champion. I don't have somebody out there nominating me. Well, we can fix that right I, here. I know. I need one. Circle of Hope needs always lots of volunteers, lots of ways to get involved. So, you know what? We can take care of that. We can get you involved, and next year maybe you can be nominated as well. There we go. Now, Pam, you've nominated uh, Laura, is okay. this your first time being nominated? Yes, it is. Oh, congratulations. It's first time for this honor. So, uh, Pam, why Laura this year? Long overdue, I might add. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Uh, Laura is the consummate nonprofit leader, really. She, I can't say enough about her vast knowledge in this area. She is a long term volunteer in this valley. Uh, we have a saying around Circle of Hope is ask Laura. If, we, if we're at a, a loss for something, she has more experience than most of us combined on our board. Mm -hmm. Now, Laura, you moved from Santa Monica in 1981, correct? In down, yep, yeah, down yep. on the west side. And, okay, so you move, you have kids, and immediately you get to work. You start volunteering, whether it's the PTA, whether it's the uh, Girl Scouts of America. You even uh, were a canteen leader, volunteer at uh, the Heart League. Yeah, what is the best item on the, best, or on, the, on the Heart League menu? Oh my, well, there is absolutely no doubt it's the chili cheese fries. I was going to say, I was going to say. <laughs> has there ever been a question? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So you are involved in a Circle of Hope. You've been involved for seven years now. Uh, tell the audience a little bit about your involvement there. Well, I became involved initially before I joined the board um, with Vine to Wine. Mm. And they, um, is a component of that event and part of that fundraising effort, they had a silent auction and opportunity drawing. And I got involved with that one year. And I kept saying, well, gee, we could do this to make it a little bigger. And we could do that. And we could do that. And the next thing you know, it was... You know, it's your idea, so run with it. Right. So um, I now oversee the silent auction and um, that opportunity drawing at that event to raise those valuable funds to help those battling cancer and, and also to help their families. Are there any upcoming events oh, taking absolutely place with Circle Absolutely there is. Um, we do have this year's um, Vine to Wine mm -hmm. coming up on August 11th. Perfect. Um, it'll be at the beautiful Cal Arts um, again. And there's wine, there's beer, there's food from various restaurants, and of course that silent auction. Of course. Um, and opportunity drawing, there's music, um, and of course there's just a lot of just good visiting with friends and a lovely evening out on the town. Now, the American Diabetes Association, which is where you're primarily involved in, I know that you brought a program to Santa Clarita, is that yes. right? Yes, absolutely. Diabetes is at an epidemic rate. And type 2 diabetes is preventable, and so prevention is key. And mm -hmm. we have started the Diabetes Prevention Program for Children because that's where it, it starts. And so we have started this program. It's the first one of its kind in Santa Clarita, and it was through generous um, sponsorships and grants and funding, and we'll be doing it again this year in July. There's a special walk every year, right, that takes place in October, November? Yes, we year. have our Step Out Walk to Stop Diabetes, and this year it's part of a much larger event. It's going to be part of the Tour de Cure cycle it's which is a cycling a running and a walk event so we're oh, wow. combining that all into one um and we've got five different lengths on the cycling event 5k 10k and the walk and a wonderful festival to go along with it you know i wonder where you find the time you're a machine i mean i'm looking at i'm looking at all the organizations that you're involved in valley industry association for education the foundation serotimus international of the greater santa Cruz. Michael Hofflin Foundation, the SCV Chamber of Commerce, 
uh, Girl Scouts of America. You were involved in PTA, the William S. Hart Leagues, like we've described. What do you do in your free time? Do you have free time? That is my free time. <laughs> and, you know what, these are all organizations that are near and dear to me. And, you know what, when you... When something's important to you, you find the time and right. you make it work. And um, we've, we're in such a, a valley that offers so much. And we are so lucky to have the nonprofits that we do. And we are so fortunate in our own lives that the more we can give back, the more that we can help others that are less fortunate or that just that need the help. So I love doing it. I love getting involved. Um, I look at all of these nominee nominees that we have mm -hmm. um, this year, and it's like, oh, my gosh, it just makes me pumped up and want to do more. Nice. Well, I'm sure there's going to be more nominations in the future for you. Including you. Uh, and including me. <laughs> you know, I, I got to get out there. I got to stop watching so much television. I think that's my problem. I just got to get off the of couch. That. I, I got use a co-chair for the auction this year. Well. Well, we'll talk about that off the air. <laughs> don't don't commit me to anything just yet. Now, what everyone wants to know, if you win the award, will you be displaying the license plate frame on your car, the 2018 Woman of the Year? Oh, my gosh, absolutely. That would be the all-time honor to place onto my car. So, absolutely, <laughs> I would absolutely look forward to that. Laura, are you going to be preparing a speech just in case you win, or are you going to be speaking off the cuff if you do win? I do better speaking off the cuff and what comes from the heart. Okay. So. Can we get a little a little uh, example, maybe a little taste? Who are we going to be thanking? Definitely Pam, right? Definitely Pam and Circle of Hope um, because they are the organization that nominated me, and I am so thankful to them. But in it all, I want to thank my parents. Mm -hmm. um, my father has passed away, but my parents have been my inspiration. They have both volunteered with organizations from as as little as I could remember and my mom was always there and volunteering with anything my sister and I were involved in and my dad who passed away at age 92 was involved with the military order of the Purple Heart right up until his passing so they've always been great volunteers and great um, mentors for me and they they are someone I look up to and would definitely want to thank. Well Laura you've definitely continued the legacy you've you're actively involved in the community I'm looking over the resume and it's incredible the amount of uh, volunteerism that you do, the contribution that you make to the San Cordo Valley. I definitely think you definitely set the example for your children and their children to come. Thank you. So congratulations on, on the nomination and Thank best you. of luck going forward. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Laura Kirchhoff up for the 2018 Woman of the Year in San Cordo Valley. Again, the dinner is coming up. Friday, May 11th at the Hyatt Valencia. Is there a website uh, for the American Diabetes Association that we can see all of the upcoming events? For the American Diabetes um, Association, it's diabetes.org. And for Circle of Hope, to see everything that our organization offers, as well as um, our upcoming events um, for Circle of Hope, it's circleofhopeinc.org. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. And Thank like you. I said, congratulations and best of luck. Thank you very much. All righty, guys. Time is 417. Quick break. Traffic on the 8s coming up. Remember when mom would bake cookies?